What's good, Nesting? Welcome back to my channel. For new viewers, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and be for this game because this game is a little game. Well, yeah. Today, it's an errand day. I just got back from my vacation. Yesterday was my anniversary, so I was really busy. I was filming, but I wasn't like trying to like edit it and get it out because editing does take a long time. And I wanted to spend most or all of my time with my boyfriend and my daughter. So, all of that footage is going to be dropping within the next couple of days. And we have schedules, and like certain days are my day, certain days are his days. Yesterday was our day, plus it was our anniversary so we just decided to chill out but today is work day we spent a lot of time and a lot of money outside of our house so today not only are we trying to make money but we are trying to you know run errands and do everything we need to do so i just got done dropping off this package because my stylist has sent me some clothes but i had to ship them back because they were sequined um pieces and they didn't have any lining so they were super itchy and uncomfortable so we sent them back so she could fix them and now i have to get a money order because i didn't have enough cash on me at one of the toll spots in miami and they said that i had to get a money order before the 12th and i just want to get it out of the way and get it now even though it's not for another two weeks and while i'm at the gas station i'm just gonna fill up my gas tank i only have half a tank but everywhere in atlanta from my house is at least 20 to 40 minutes away so all that stuff adds up pretty quickly let me put my phone down because there's a police officer right across from me and i feel like he's looking at me dead in my eye and i'm back so i'm at the gas station but my car got super messy like there's fries everywhere like it's so disgusting so i have to do a quick little clean through before i go to my appointment since i'm already at the gas station and there's a trash here if you know anything about me you know that I'm really organized. I like to have everything like on a list. And I love to kill two, three, four birds with one stone if I can. Especially when you're really busy and you always have something to do. You want to try to make life as easy as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and clean these things up. Looking at all these snacks is just so disgusting to me. Because when we was in Miami, we was eating great. We was eating good home cooked type food top-notch five-star food and since we had a long nine-hour drive like we had to get snacks to one keep us up and two to keep us occupied you know you eat when you're bored I mean, we could have got like apples and stuff but we were trying to just hurry up and get on the road ew pork rinds i'm gonna have to cop me a salad from chick-fil-a real quick because i'm gonna start getting hungry and if I wait too long to eat, my acid reflux is gonna kick in the second I do decide to eat. So yeah. Okay, I lied. They said they didn't do money orders, but I did get a chance to fill up my tank and I didn't get a chance to clean my car because next to me there was like this guy in the passenger seat, he was a worker, and he was like staring me down like I was a piece of chicken. So I felt really uncomfortable and I just decided to not clean the rest of my car. But I will a little bit later. Right now I'm about to go get me some food at Chick-fil-A. All right, just got my food and I am about to be early to this appointment. I got an eyebrow appointment for a touch up. I love them, but sometimes they just don't look, you know, fleek enough. Like when I got my makeup, I feel like I have to put some more makeup on cause they don't look complete or whatever. So yeah, last time I pulled up to this appointment, she was literally looking outside the window waiting for me and I was like extra early. So this time, I'm trying to eat, you know what I'm saying? So I might have to stop and smash a little bit before I pull up. Uh, I wish I had comments on this. Because I always be having questions about what y'all see or where I've been and like your guys' perspective and stuff. Was it that Howard? Why didn't my phone tell me to turn sooner? Ugh. Did they not give me my car? Hold on, let me, let me pull over. The worker said, you want to check your bag and make sure everything's right? I said, no, I trust you guys. This is why you don't need to trust people. Bro, the creamy salsa is like the best part. I mean, in order for me to eat healthier and stuff, I do need to stop, you know, piling on the sauces because I could eat a million salad and it would still equal a burger if I keep putting extra ingredients. All right, I'm finally here. We don't have to. a 
a couple days later and I got like five things off my list out of probably about 20. I just got really tired once I got home and I wanted to spend time with my daughter. But today, I started my morning off right at um, Starbucks. You guys really put me on. I'm so glad that I did that challenge where you guys try to put me on to some drinks because now I found my favorite drink, which is the dragon fruit drink extra coconut milk and yeah i was gonna go to chick-fil-a but it's too early it's only breakfast and um i don't think they have salads at this time anyways i'm on my way to blue divine spa to get my monthly facial and i'm gonna get laser on my legs and i'm gonna tell them to do brazilian and do whatever else they gotta do because shaving is just not it honestly and truthfully shaving is not the way to go an old friend I never met her before in person, but she saw Xavi in the mall after I just had left and she called me and she's like, are you free? And I was, well, I was really tired. So I was like, no, but we can do something after my facial. So hopefully she doesn't bail on me because she wants to eat Juicy Crab, but I haven't had that in forever because Xavi is not a seafood fan and I can't just take the baby because it gets really messy. Not to mention I have videos to edit, upload, all that stuff. I need to pick up on where i left off in my list and then there's no groceries in the house so i might have to do that it's just a lot going on you know what i'm saying a day in the life but who doesn't got a lot going on let's get started i'm back <laughs> and now i need to take these off and put this on Ta -da! i love adriana adriana how do you say it? How do you say your name? Adriana or Adriana? Adriana. Adriana. Duh, just like her Instagram. Adj. All right, so do you have any makeup on? Nope. And the lashes aren't that fresh, but nope. the brows are. Mm -hmm. When did you get them done? Yesterday? Mm -hmm. No, me, I'm always doing something. Right, your skin feels pretty good. Yes, I've been taking, I've been putting on that so SPF. Sorry. I need to go to the um, Walmart and get like SPF Walmart. for my body somewhere. What? We have SPF for your body? No. Oh. Where are you going to go to Walmart? <laughs> you don't got to go to Walmart for anything. Well, there's actually some fabulous things at Walmart, but not for your body. Oh my goodness. Miami so was good. amazing. Yeah, tell they, me about it. What'd you do? They have like the prettiest people. Like so I everybody, know. everybody keeps up with themselves. And it's like great. It's like a place for me. Like <laughs> and everybody's Hispanic. Yeah. And just has that glowy, beautiful skin. Yes. Like I went to the med spa and I'm like Yes. Oh, I bet the women were to die. Yes. I was like Oh my God, where am I? Yeah, <laughs> like, for is this real. Heaven? <laughs> no, that has to be what heaven's like. Just gorgeous. Right, and then it's so sunny and like all the palm trees, it was like to die for. This blueberry peel is really good for anti redness, for sensitive skin, for anti aging skin, and it's really gonna help exfoliate you because you're a little dry in here. And yes, sometimes I think I that the salicylic might be too much. Um, why mm. do you do that, girl? That's just your skin type. I just got that. Oh, like, really? Yeah, that's weird. Like, maybe it's something you're using. Maybe. So, I need to get medical grade, you everything. Do. Yeah. It's not a, like a true chemical peel to where you're gonna have any downtime. It's just gonna exfoliate. I'm gonna place it on, take it off. Ready? You see that tingle a little bit? I'm gonna avoid the eyebrows. That would be bad. Next thing you know, I have none anymore. No, girl, I don't, I don't need that on my conscience. <laughs> if I were you, I would sue me if I did that. <laughs> This pimple that I have is from two months ago. You think it's gonna stay there forever? It's gonna scar? No, we think we're gonna get it out. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna get it out. No, we, we took it out last time we extracted oh, it. Oh, right but here? I, yeah. So you think it's gonna this stay there? This right dark? here? Uh huh. Yeah, you need to use uh, something really good to um, break up all that melanin and all that pigment in there. You could do that? I didn't know of you Of course could do you that. can. Yes, and this yeah, because. That's, we have the same thing. Yeah, girl, I have the same thing happening right now. Really? Yeah, those are, they're flat. Like, they're just too, like, red. Mine's red, because I'm uh. lighter than you. Mm. Um, but it, yeah, it stains my skin red. So I've been using an even tone correcting serum. That's the bomb! And then peels like this also really help. Yes, ma'am. So she just put a detox mask on me and some tea bags. Next is the laser room. Yes, ma'am. Moment of truth. I don't feel it. You don't feel anything? No. Perfect. One thing about her is that she'll turn it all the way up to <laughs> extreme. No. <laughs> no pain, no gain. 
You don't feel anything? Ankles. A little bit. Oh yeah, that's what it is. No, no, I don't feel anything. Great. Yep, right there. That's the spot. But the coolness like evens it out. So it's like only for like a quick second. So what about people with darker skin complexion? Everybody can be treated. You just need to make sure you have the right laser. And the YAG 1064 is the best. And that's for anybody with ethnic skin. So whether you're African American, you're Puerto Rican, Korean, Pakistani, everybody can use the YAG laser. The other one is really only for super, super pale skin tones. Somebody yes. was in the comments like, the thing that they don't tell you is that you guys are not a good candidate if you are darker skin complexion. Oh! They just want your money. the darker the hair like the laser loves the laser looks for color it looks for pigment so that's why you don't use the light laser on darker skin tones because your whole body's pigment So I'm about to do those when I pull up in the parking lot. But I spent like a lot of time there because we were doing TikToks. But now I'm about to meet this girl. So this is the aftermath. This is Aaliyah. What's up? We just got done eating probably like 20 minutes ago. We we're just chilling, vibing. I'm literally vibing. Like I always sit in my car like, all types of ways. I got the itis. I'm not even gonna lie. You got the itis? I ate a little bit on purpose. Do you ever like leave a place and forget your leftovers? I do that 90% of the time. No. Hell no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much money did you just spend today? Too much. But who's <laughs> counting? Like, oh my god, I forgot I did spend a lot of money on freaking face stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, on my way home, which was, by the way, an hour drive with traffic, freaking crazy, I got pulled over because he said that my tags were expired and he questioned if this was my car. Like, of course this is my car. Of course this is my car. Whose car would it be? Am I too young to drive a Lexus? Anyways, about to go home. Got some promos to do. Hopefully I still film, but if I don't, then I don't. Okay, yeah, it's the next day, and I finally used the freaking Polaroid thing. And it's been 15 minutes, let's see what it looks like. Trash. Oh, it actually looks like a real, a real, a real Polaroid. Yeah, and how did you do that? I put the phone on the top of it, and then it like exposed it, and it pulled it out. You pick one from your phone. That's why I got this one, because I don't want to get the one where you have to... Take a picture of it, Mm-hmm. Can you take a picture? No. You just gotta take it on your phone and do this. I'm gonna get the other one when it comes to Winter's birthday and take random pictures of keep it as memories. I wonder if you get the option of it coming out clearer. I do love this though. I can only imagine Winter being older and be like, this is my mom, y'all. And they'd be like, ooh, your mama fine. And be like, yep, I am too. <laughs> But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe your partner's girl because that's really sweet. Gang of kings. Just kidding. Before I go, I wanted to show y'all all the beautiful pictures that I printed. Okay. It's not going how I... She's mad. She wants me to pick her up. 